And now, your first alert five weather. And welcome back everyone. Well, quite surprisingly, temperatures down quite a bit from what we saw yesterday. I thought we'd see a few degrees of cooling. We'll stop the presses here. Mother Nature throwing a curveball at this meteorologist. We saw temperatures down around 15 to 25 degrees thanks to a stubborn front which moved about 50 to 75 miles farther west than most of the modeling was showing. So temperatures right now only in the low 60s in the springs after topping out at 64. The cloud cover also inhibiting that sunshine from helping to warm things up, keeping us on the cooler side, at least compared to what we saw yesterday. For Pueblo right now, 60 degrees. The good thing about that frontal boundary is it did increase the humidity levels, temporarily putting that high fire danger threat at bay. It does come back tomorrow and we do expect a significant warm up in temperatures as the westerlies do win out as we make our way into early next week. Gang and city looking pretty good on this Sunday afternoon, even though we were cooler than yesterday. Nice and mild with the current temperature at 62 degrees. So the high pressure center is going to move farther to the east again, bringing us some warmer temperatures, some gusty winds on Sunday, or I should say Monday out ahead of our next developing storm. It's this area of low pressure that's going to bring snow to the mountains and some rain chances could even see some thunderstorms to the plains beginning on Tuesday. Tomorrow, though, the big story is the potential for record setting temperatures and the high fire danger. Look at all these areas that go under this red flag warning. Beginning at 11 a.m., they'll continue until 9 p.m. Humidity could be down into the single digits during times tomorrow, and winds could be gusting in excess of 25 to 35 miles per hour. Temperature-wise, we're back into the upper 70s in the springs, lower 80s in Pueblo, with a mix of sun and clouds. And I mentioned weather will be weather alert because of the high fire danger, but also on record watch with your forecast highs within one degree of the current records for both the springs and Pueblo. So high pressure is going to keep us very warm again on Monday. We'll be on the warm side of the storm. That next storm drops in with snow in the mountains, rain for the plains beginning on Tuesday. Then we get the secondary front that drops in Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. That could bring in a brief period of snow showers late Tuesday into Wednesday morning. A secondary wave brings more mountain snow to the forecast, possibly some rain or snow showers to the I-25 corridor on Wednesday as well. And it looks like it could be an active period of weather beginning on Tuesday, another storm system Friday to Saturday could bring some very beneficial moisture to the mountain areas, especially down into the San Juans over the next seven days. But you can see generally lesser amounts for the plains, the green indicating around a half an inch or less of that precipitation, that liquid gold that we so much like to see this time of the year here in Southern Colorado. Right, let's take a look at your forecast tonight. We'll see dry skies, overnight lows down to the 30s and 40s in most areas. Your highs tomorrow with that boost in temperatures. We are back to the 80s across the plains and into Pueblo as well for the springs. Pretty close to it, flirting with that 80 degree mark on Monday. Again, with high fire danger, you see that here on your Super 7 day forecast. Cooling through Wednesday with that chance for rain and and maybe some rain snow showers Tuesday night to Wednesday. For Pueblo, we go from 83 down to 52. And yes, we will be unsettled Tuesday to Wednesday. You'll need the rain gear those two days and potentially Friday to Saturday with another storm in the works. Canyon City, it's sort of a roller coaster ride of typical spring weather. Very warm at the beginning of the forecast, then some cooler and unsettled days around the middle and then end of the week. For Woodland Park, we've got snow on the way here Tuesday to Wednesday. And then another round of rain and snow showers as we make our way towards the weekend.